Abajor Burnett is live at the scene. She has more on why the school bus driver shouldn't have been behind the wheel. Abajoy. Vic, good evening. The school bus driver said the school bus driver's family said that he was in good health, but the state contends he failed to turn in required medical paperwork to keep his commercial driver's license. New video WJZ obtained shows the school bus seconds before it crashed. You see a gray Ford Mustang headed eastbound on Frederick Avenue. The buses behind it appearing to go much faster. He couldn't be doing no less than 60. It looked like he was gone fast. It looked like he, it don't look like it. He was going fast. Didn't put on no brakes at all. Moments later, the school bus would slam into that Mustang before hitting an MTA bus and killing six people. The Mustang's driver told us what he saw before walking away from the wreckage. You just see a blur and then all of a sudden the impact hits. WJZ has also confirmed the school bus driver, 67-year-old Glenn Chappelle, was no longer authorized to drive that bus and had not been for two months. The Maryland Motor Vehicle Administration says Chappelle never provided them with his medical examiner's certificate. Even though the agency sent him these two warning letters, that certificate requires an examination by a doctor, and the federal government mandates it for all drivers of commercial vehicles. They suspended the license, but he's still behind the wheel. Why? Attorney Dan Miller has handled many cases involving commercial vehicle accidents and cautions against a rush to judgment. You have to let them come to the conclusions based on facts, not on conjecture. Chappelle did pass a yearly physical exam five months ago, required by all school bus drivers in the city. His records are among the many things NTSB and city police investigators are looking into as they work to determine the cause. If this incident did happen because of a medical condition, had he not been behind the wheel, it may not have happened. Now, Chappelle worked for AA Affordable Transportation. The company released a statement that said they are working with investigators and cautioned against speculation. Reporting live tonight, Ava Joy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Thank